Stating that Poland is a country of churches is an understatement, and Wrocław is no exception. I googled at least 15 churches in and around the old town of Wrocław alone. We are now crossing the Tumski Bridge towards those beautiful looking churches we saw north of the river. So there was uh, 25 PLN per person. Um, yep. Put it up For somewhere uh, about seven bucks Canadian, so about 15, 14, 15 bucks for the both of us. Yeah. Uh, so we can go around the park. Uh, I think it's twisted. I think I think it should be that way. Okay. I think. Well, just stop walking. I think the last time I visited a botanical garden was way back in high school, in those school trips. I was just glad that I was out of the classroom. Now that I'm much older, I can say that I actually enjoy the time we spent in this botanical garden. It was really nice, quiet, and relaxing.
over an hour in the botanical gardens walking. Yeah, it was a nice place. It, it is nice. So we decided, we got hungry, so we decided to check out what's on the other side of the river. So we found a pasta place. And we're gonna have some like lunch early dinner with some gnocchi and tagatelli. Uh, tagatelli ragu, something like oh, that. Okay. It's a white pasta. And a couple of lemonades. So it's a little fancier place, but we are outside because we didn't have any reservation. Yeah, they are full inside, so we have to sit outside. It's not yeah. bad. It's a nice place. Nice terrace, as we call it. Hope they are fresh pasta. My plate is about 42 zloty. Less than 15 bucks. And I got gnocchi and tomato, and tomato sauce. Which was under 30 PL and 27. And so it's a, less than 10 bucks. And we got a couple of lemonade. Really. Same price as the uh, drinks we got yesterday. Okay. About 12. Yeah, somewhere then, yeah. Yeah, we got a little hungry. We enjoy our food. Well, we haven't had anything to eat since uh, the muffins for breakfast. <laughs> yeah, so. High time to eat something. So we're having breakfast in this nice place. They serve uh, waffles, pancakes, English breakfast, American style. style, and with nice coffee and croissant. I'm telling you, they got everything here in Poland. <laughs> you ain't wow. gonna miss a thing here. Oh, uh, guys, that's my breakfast right there. And here's my Crumbled eggs with uh, fresh bread. Over. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice. Good morning. <laughs> so that was a very, very good breakfast. It was. Was delicious. Mm -hmm. that, that was a good place. Highly recommend it. It's called Dinette. Dinette. Yeah. yeah. It was a little heavy. Uh, I could eat like probably three quarter of it. <laughs> heavy. Yeah. Uh, a big enough portion, you mean? Mm -hmm. It wasn't that expensive. So, uh, two cup of, uh, one cappuccino, one cafe latte, the scrambled egg for her, and the uh, toast on poached eggs for me. Plus, what, 71 zelate? 71, yeah. Yeah, so that's about 21 Canadian. Yep. I'll put the price up there. So, we'll try to again take it a little bit slower this time. Uh, I think the first day we really overdid it. Well, we, we walked the whole, like the first day that we arrived, basically, we went for a quite extensive stroll around the old town, so that was a bit much. <laughs> well, we walked a lot yesterday too, but we did we a little did. bit more we, breaks in yeah, between. Yeah, exactly, and that's what I meant. I think we should just take a little break here and there, enjoy it, instead of just, hey, okay, let's go around really fast. Well, and yesterday going through the gardens, mm -hmm. that was very conducive to sitting yeah. here and there. No, that was really nice. It was very relaxing. I didn't expect that at all in the garden, uh, just expecting to enjoy the view, but it was quite relaxing. It was really nice. Honestly, I could spend a little bit more time there. We got hungry, so we went for that pasta place. And, and it then it, really it, was, good. it was starting to get late as well. Yeah. So. That's one thing I like about it here. I mean, you can get cheap foods, but you can also get good foods. For decent and they're price. they're not that expensive. It's good price. And we just talked about this where there's no tax, where there is a tax, but it's built into it, right? Yep. The VAT. And on top of it, no tips because it's also already included in it. Yeah, basically you get the bill, you tap your card, mm -hmm. and you're out. And the other thing is the service. I like the service. Yeah. They come when they need to, they don't come and bother you. Uh, they know when to uh, come by and actually... Because the plate is empty. <laughs> plate is empty, or basically when, you when know, you call ready them, yeah. to order, or when you call them, they're around. So in terms of service wise it's not uh reduced because there's no tip no it's it's all fantastic and you know exactly what you're going to pay they're compensated for the work that they do yeah and yeah. that's how it ought to be yeah. and, and it was a good experience uh overall everywhere here so i've been enjoying it
And this one over here likes to be on the shitty side, so... Because this one over here burns like heck. <laughs> so under the roof, open roof behind us, over there. But, uh, we're under the roof, so she won't burn. We'll try to enjoy as much as we can with you. I'm not sure what the right side, we're on the... Not the particular island side of it, we're on the... Well, we'll see the other side on our way back. So it's nothing lost yet. So we are heading towards the zoo. Uh, we'll get off there and just buy the ticket on the way in. We don't yep. have to get it online. Or you don't have to reserve, reserve it or anything. <laughs> Again, with probably that. in the high tourist season, it would be preferable to buy it ahead of time maybe, or at least reserve of some yeah. sorts. Admittedly, there is quite a few companies that do this, so smaller boats. You know, this is uh, one of the bigger boats, but there are smaller ones for kind of private uh, tours if you if you want to do it that way. Even different routes, so not yeah. always the same thing. I'm not sure if the other one has the uh, tour guides actually say anything. They haven't done anything right now, they didn't tell you on the last one. Yeah, I don't Even think they have a tour guide here. Enjoy the cruise. I can't remember the last time I visited a zoo under the age of 10 back in Indonesia for sure. I never even visited the Toronto Zoo or any in Canada. Maybe I'm not a fan of captive animals. And maybe not a reason we're not visiting this one. So we're just walking around it. say it's open but we tried to go in and apparently they were not open. The visitor center is a tourist gateway to the Centennial Hall and there's interactive multimedia exhibition. The admission is 25 uh, per person. They said it was closed or maybe it was just booked with a whole bunch of students so there's no room for us. 
Instead, we're just uh, walking around the ground where it's free. At this point, they've started the water fountain show. As usual, the water dances to the beat of the music, which we have to mute to avoid copyright strike. But apparently, it's better to see the show at night, where they add light show to it. It's pretty impressive. But we don't plan to stay here that late, so we move on to the next attraction. Relaxing on the dock, the Japanese garden, and watching the fish uh, sw swim by. Look at that one. Ooh, that's a big one. Even though it's sunny, it's quite a little breezy. So it's not unbearably hot, but yeah, put your sunscreen on. <laughs> oh, look, ducks are coming. Ew. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. Overall, I really enjoy the city of Bratislava. Mind you, we spent most of our time just in the old town. The whole city is much, much bigger, of course. 
This main square is just the best in my opinion. But I can only compare with Warsaw and as you will see, Krakow or Krakow. All the stalls are open on this side, it wasn't in the beginning of the week. Yeah. Yeah. What is that? That is that sweet, sweet, sweet thing. Uh, uh, I bought it in a bar form. Yeah. You'll try it. The, the couple bars that we, the few bars that we bought for like tasting. The old town is nice and quiet, but the main square is busy enough with a bunch of tourists and vendors all around. I think it's the most underrated city in Poland to visit. We will definitely come back to the city of Wrocław again, but it will have to be a bit longer than just a week. Actually, the first day we came here was... Yeah, it was... Uh, no, Monday was also... Monday evening was also pretty crowded. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was crowded. I got some coconut with some fruit, coconut shaving, Raffaello, the Ferrero coconut mm. one, uh, with vanilla soft serve ice cream. Oh, and with bounty bar pieces. And what did I have? Shake.